Hello friends, welcome to the Divine Tree. Today we will know the 24 values inherited from the nature by Lord Dattatreya. Lord Dattatreya is famous in the Hindu text as the one who started with nothing and without any teachers yet reached self-awareness by observing nature during his sannyasi's days. Let's not waste any time and know the values now. The first is earth. Dattatreya observed that earth was steadfastly productive, stands always towards righteousness or dharma, even if it get abused or the pollution caused by humans, it heals itself. By this observation, Dattatreya learnt that forbearance remain undispersed, even if oppressed, keep healing even if others injure you. The second is the wind. Dattatreya observed that wind passes through everything and everyone. It is unchanged, unattached, like a truth. Dattatreya learned by this observation that be free like the wind, yet control yourself and your feelings and emotions. The third one is the sky. Dattatreya observed that sky has no boundaries, no limits. It is unaffected even if the clouds and thunderstorms come and go. By this observation, Dattatreya learned that the highest within himself, the Atma, the soul has no limits. It is undifferentiated like the sky, whatever happens, death or life. The fourth is water. The Tatreya observed that water serves all without pride, discrimination, caste. It is transparent to everyone, purifies and gives life to whatever it touches. The Tatreya learned that if anyone is arrogant and passes his arrogance to any other person and makes him impure, the water always pure and cleanses them without any discrimination. The fifth is the fire. The Tatriya observed that fire purifies and reforms or reshapes everything which come in contact with it. The Tatriya learned that the heat of knowledge reforms everything it comes in contact, giving it a special energy to shape. The sixth is the moon. The Tatriya observed that the moon changes its phases. It waxes and wanes, but it doesn't leave forever. The Tatriya learned by this birth, death and again rebirth and the cycle of existence does not change. The Atma does not die. Either it changes its bodies like the moon changes its phases. The seventh is the sun. The Tatriya observed that the source of light and it gives its gift to all creatures as a sense of duty. The Tatriya learned by this that the soul may appear in different bodies yet Everyone is connected to all same soul, like the sun. The eighth are pigeons. The pigeons suffer loss in the hands of violent hunters. As they are attached to something materialistic, when hunters lure them, the Tatriya learnt by this that do not be transient or obsessive. Human life is a rare privilege to learn, discover and one soul. And human life's main goal is to reach moksha. The ninth is the python. 
Dattatreya observed that Python eats whatever come in its way and makes the most from what it consumes. Dattatreya learned that be happy with what you have and do not covet for others. The tenth is the bumblebee. Dattatreya learned by the bumblebee that work hard, build and create and protect your reserve. Always be active and work for yourself and the welfare of others. Dattatreya by this learned that be active, go directly to the sources of knowledge like the bumblebee goes in the flower to suck the nectar to build and make its nest. The eleventh one is the beekeeper. The Tatriya observed that the beekeeper gets profits from honeybees. The Tatriya learned from this don't crave for any material pleasures. You get the profit when you help to get the profit to others. The twelfth one is Hawk. The Tatriya observed that Hawk picks up a large chunk of food, but the other birds harass him, and when it drops its food, other birds leave him alone. Tatriya learned that take what you need, not more, leave for others so that they may live peacefully. The thirteenth one is the mighty ocean. The Tatriya observed the ocean. The surface is deep and undisturbed within, inside, and receives numerous rivers, but yet remains the same. The Tatriya learned that the rivers of sensory lust may come inside and outside of your Atma, but you have to remain the same, your own self. The fourteenth one is the moth. The Tatriya observed that the moth is deceived by its senses. It runs to the fire in misunderstanding which kills it. The Tatriya learned that you have to question your senses. Your brain is your mightiest weapon. You mustn't listen to others. You have your own power to know what is right and what is the wrong. The fifteenth is the elephant. The elephant is deceived by his lust. It runs after the smell of a possible mate or a food and falls into a pit made by hunters and which gets itself killed. Tatriya learnt by this do not lust after someone or something. Don't fall into traps of others or sensory. The sixth is the deer. The deer is deceived by his fear, by the hunters who beat drums and scare him into a waiting net. The Tatriya learned that fear not the noise and do not succumb the pressure and designed for you. We must stand and face them. The seventeenth is the fish. The fish is deceived by the bait and so lured to his death. The Tatriya learned that greed not the crumbs or the bait so that which may harm you. The eighteenth is the courtesan or relationships. It exchanges transient pleasure with the body but feels dejected with meaningless life and leads to ultimate death. Dattatreya learned that self-respect and principles for various reasons but feel dejected with their career, they affect their relationships. So, so be clear with your emotions and feelings. The nineteenth is the child. The Tatriya observed a child. He lives a life of innocent bliss. The child is curious, innocent and blissful. The Tatriya 
learn the most from the child being joyful the 20th is the maiden the tatriya observed that a maiden is poor yet tries her best to feed her family and guest as she cooks she avoids attracting attention to her kitchen and poverty the tatriya learned that don't seek attention a yogi accomplishes and shares more than solitude and life moksha the 21st is the snake the tatriya observed that the snake lives in whatever hole that comes his way willingly leaves bad skins and molds the tatriya learned that a yogi can live in any place must be ready to mold the old values or old ideas for creation of new the 22nd is the arrow smith the tatriya observed the arrow smith the best one was so lost in his work that he failed to notice the procession that passed his way tatriya learned that concentrate on what you love to do intense concentration is the way to self realization and to god the 23rd is the spider the spider builds a beautiful web destroys it and abandons the web and then restarts it again the tatriya learned that don't get entangled by your own web be ready to abandon it your body and go with your atma the last or 24th is the caterpillar the caterpillar starts out close in a tiny nest but ultimately becomes a beautiful butterfly flying so tatatriya learned that long journeys start from a very small step a discipline starts out insignificant and lead step by step to become a spiritual master